We all like to say things are bigger in Texas, but Herb Kelleher is one Texan who takes that to heart. He decided his state was so big, it deserved its own airline. This eccentric entrepreneur helped grow little Southwest Airlines from a local carrier to a national contender. The result? It's not just Herb that's all over the map. He is uh, one of the most fascinating people I've ever met. He's uh, a truly colorful individual that's changed his industry and changed our country for the better. Herb was born in 1931 in New Jersey, the youngest of four children. He graduated from Wesleyan University and earned a law degree from New York University. He came to Texas in 1961 and made a name for himself as a successful lawyer in San Antonio. But the legend of Herb didn't really get started until 1966 in a San Antonio bar after several bourbons with his client, Rollin King. In that magical moment, the two men hatched a plan on a napkin to create an airline. So they drew this little famous triangle map on a bar napkin that has now had a lot of publicity and uh, decided that um, they'd make her go for it and see if they could get a little Texas intrastate carrier going. And while he clearly enjoyed his law practice and had built one of the most successful law firms at San Antonio, I think Herb is ultimately an entrepreneur. Offering direct flights between Dallas, San Antonio, and Houston, the idea seems simple. As legal counsel, Herb helped Southwest Airlines gain certification to fly in 1967. But legal battles with other carriers kept the new airline grounded. The more that they fought and the more that they tried to hurt us or prevent us, the more Southwest turned into a cause. Is that a quote? Quote this. Wow, it looks like Herb's not kidding. Herb liked fighting for the underdog. He took the Southwest case all the way to the Supreme Court where he finally won the right for Southwest to take flight in 1971. As a board member, Herb was convinced the little airline had just as much right to the skies as the big carriers. It's just fun to bring low fares and Southwest spirit to cities like Little Rock. On top of that, they treat you like family. And on top of that, we could use the money. That tenacity became part of the young company's culture. If you're from Texas, you've probably heard a lot of talk about the fact that we're such mavericks and that we have such warrior spirit, well, I really think that's where the warrior spirit came from and, and very much an important part of our culture. From legal counsel to president, CEO, and chairman of the board in 1982, Herb helped Southwest break every conventional rule in the airline industry. They dumped the hub and spoke system for more direct flights. They cut out costly ticket machines and introduced open seating. And their famous peanuts replaced in-flight meals. It all helped Southwest slash prices and make air travel available to a new demographic. But Herb also believes success hinged on another key ingredient, the employees. Herb's motto is, if we take care of the employees, the employees will take care of the customers, and then everything works out for the stockholders. And Herb, it works, and it works under your model. Herb believed a little extra effort from every employee would make his airline stand out. The people he hired became the backbone of a new type of airline, focusing on the individual. No, Herb was not the typical CEO, and as a result, Southwest had no chance of being a typical airline. His fun-loving attitude and warrior spirit set the tone. In one instance, he challenged the CEO of a competing airline to an arm wrestling match over a disputed commercial slogan. Public spectacles like these led to an abundance of free publicity and dedicated employees. Herb is really different. Some people have characterized him as being on the edge of weird. The Southwest company culture encourages creativity. At Southwest Airlines, we have fun. It all started as Herb's effort to improve the customer experience. More than 35 years after its initial flight, Southwest now flies more than 80 million passengers a year to 62 cities across the country. In the process, Herb has become a legend in the airline industry and one of the most admired business leaders in the country. Very few people can take the, the bare bones idea and work it all the way up to where it becomes a major national entity. And that's what Southwest Airlines is today. Southwest Airlines today is clearly one of America's most successful corporations. Tonight, we honor Herb Kelleher with the History Making Texan Award for giving flight to one of the most unique success stories Texas has ever seen.